education, knowledge, or intellectual power. None of this serves as a predictor to why one person succeeds and another doesn't. There is something else going on that society doesn't seem a comfort. Okay, so in the first recording I didn't get this part. And in this second recording I couldn't get it either. But then I read the script, Alejandro, and it's got to be something like this. There is something else going on that society doesn't seem to account for. You have to be careful here, doesn't seem to account for. Because otherwise it won't be clear what you're saying there. I'm going to read, it, to read it again. There is something else going on that society doesn't seem to account for. There is a lot of examples in our university, jobs, polit politics, etc. We notice how people are brilliant and have awesome skills, while others lack outstanding skill. Okay, here you're, you're talking about awesome skills and outstanding skills. You don't have to repeat skills, skills. You can use, you can use ones to substitute uh, the second um, repetition of the word skills, for example, and have awesome skills while others lack outstanding ones. But still we keep asking ourselves why? And the answer to this question is emotional intelligence. Imagine for a moment a man in the middle of the ocean and this man suffered a shark attack. This story is real. It's the story of Butch Connor. He started swimming, get away from everything, when all of a sudden Okay, you pronounced the word satin really, really well. You have to be careful with, with the first um, uh, syllable. Sa it's satin, satin, not suten, suten, no, it's satin, satin. But the pronunciation of the glottal stop, that's the way it's called, it's perfect. Good job. He saw a big gray shark. He hear heard, heard, past tense, Alejandro, okay? Heard, heard. A big splash. He turned around and he saw a big gray shark. He was frozen in horror. He could hear his heart pouting. He tried to hit the no nose. Nose, nose. Of the shark. At this moment, he thought about his three children. What were they going to do without him? He tried to calm down, to manage his emotion, to manage the angry. The stress of the moment and he felt strong again. He felt that his blood returned to his body. He took his board and he paddled to the shore. When he arrived, arrived to the shore, he felt alive again. He thought about the battle to the shark and the battle to his emotions. Because Butch Corner applied intelligence in his emotions. This story is the proof that our emotions trigger our behavior. It's the proof that everybody has emotional intelligence. All people have an intelligent caution and emotional caution. But people consider it. Consider. People consider. People consider important our our intelligent intelligent caution than our emotional caution we believe in our social structure that intelligence improves our intellect but today it has been totally failed it has totally failed it has totally failed do not use passive voice here 
say it has totally failed. Um, careful with the pronunciation of the word failed. It sounds like face and it is failed. Okay? Emotional intelligence is the way that you manage your emotion. Is the way that you manage your behavior and navigate in social complexities and active. I think you mean here activate. Activate, not active. Activate. Activate. Positive results. 90% of the people that do well their job are people with a high level of emotional intelligence. People that occupy the place of CEO, director, or president is the, have the lowest level of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is how you use your system rhythm, uh, limbic. Limbic system. Limbic system. Limbic system. Rational, based on your emotion. There are four elements that we need to know to have and develop. 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 Emotional intelligence. We need self-awareness. Self-awareness is your ability to identify your emotions. Name your emotion and how feel you. The second element is self-management and it's your ability to react with your emotion how you demonstrate your emotions the other element is social awareness social awareness is your ability to identify the emotions in other people you need focus need to need to need to focus on people on people and the last one is relationship management. And you need self-awareness, social awareness, self-management to develop and build a relationship. 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 Now, I want to ask you this question. How are your social, your emotional caution, I your intelligent coaching. Can you imagine what your job, family, business would be like if you apply emotional intelligence? How you apply emotional intelligence in your relationship? People see emotional intelligence like something charismatic or irrelevant, but the truth is... The truth is... The truth is... That when we learn to have emotional intelligence, when we learn to manage our behavior, we start to be more rational. We begin to be a person with a genuine sense of judgment. Sense of justice. Sense of justice. A person that achieve. 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 Positive result in your relationship. An intelligent person is not one who take advantage. 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 Of the time. An intelligent person is one who, know, who knew you were going to say a person who knows and that's correct and then for some reason you uh, change it to um, new no not past tense it is present tense so it is who knows in which area of his life he need invest time and energy and one of these area that we need to invest energy and time is in our emotional intelligence.